Hey, 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 ho, 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 it's holiday beer time, here we go! Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio once again, and thank you for coming back to the show. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's episode. We had our tag team match of our hell beer against our Pilsner, and obviously me being kind of a hopsy type of guy, I had to give it to the Pils. But again, nobody breaking into that current stack lineup on the top shelf there before we start digging into today's beers i just want to give another shout out to all of you who have been watching supporting liking subscribing leaving comments i'm i'm just blown away by the amount of support that we've been getting i'm super jazzed about it and it makes me even more excited to dig into today's beer but before we do that uh just a note i am not sporting holiday attire today other than the lovely santa hat which if you didn't know this has something about wine on the back side or i guess it's the front side but for us we're gonna call it the back side because this ain't a wine show it's a beer show um but yeah I'm, I'm not wearing holiday stuff today i've i've after 15 days of holiday beers uh my christmas wardrobe is slightly tapped i don't know whether i like the fact that i can throw together a holiday outfit two weeks worth um that's that's kind of new but hey whatever it's all good i like i like to wear a lot of you know plaid flannel so you get the right color combination you got a makeshift christmas shirt so anyways let's uh let's stop all this nonsense and let's uh let's go see what's on tap today shall we And today we've got the mighty Perlin Zuber IPA. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We got an IPA coming out of Germany today. Look at that. We got a nice little. It looks like she's either trapped in the ocean or maybe it's the the beer the beer tank. Well, either way, we know this is feline approved. That's right. Holy crap! We got ourselves an IPA brewed in Germany, like like from. Germany, an IPA. I am dumbfounded. At least I was dumbfounded until I found out a little bit more about this bad boy right here. All right, so what makes this particular beer so special when it comes to this particular advent calendar is actually best described in their own words. And that is the company that actually procures and organizes all of these beers in the in their annual beer advent calendars that they put out they've been doing it since 2010 i believe and let's see what they have to say so this is the perlenzauber ipa which loosely translated means pearl magic now what is pearl magic you might ask it is a gypsy brewing beer which is brewed and bottled exclusively for the company Kalea is what I'm calling it Kalea Beer Company um, or the Beer Advent Calendar Company. So Kalea is supposed to be Hawaiian for giving joy, I believe. Um, but every year, this specialty is brewed in a different brewery. This year, the award-winning Reed Brewery from Upper Austria will swing the mash spoons. What are they brewing up for us? Well, that's actually the question because I did look up the brewery that it says where it came from. And I don't know, maybe they have some headquarters out of Austria or something like that. But if you'll all follow me, please, we'll go visit the exact brewery where this is made over there in the Google Maps. All right, so as you can see, here's Austria down here. And here's Germany. There's, there's the border. Apparently, when I plug in this brewery's name, it does not go to northern Austria. What it does do is fly us just east of where we discovered that uh, Zweckel Brewery was from. Down in this little town here. And when you really get up close and personal, I mean, what a gorgeous area. How beautiful is this little town in Germany. I mean, the biggest thing in the town is the brewery which is all right there, right in front of you. I mean, it's massive. And so I don't know how these people actually get this done or how what kind of recipe they use, or maybe it's the same type every, I don't know, this is my first advent beer calendar from these guys. 
But uh, it do, it is kind of a cool concept where what sounds like I don't know if it's an American company or what. I mean, I kind of feel like you're probably an American company if you're using like a Hawaiian you know word for your company name. But hey, whatever. I don't know. No judgment. But it's so cool that they can pass this this recipe around to these various breweries and they whip up a special batch just for this calendar. So this is going to be extra special today. I mean, we got a woman trapped in what looks like some kind of underwater facility there. And uh, I'm just I'm just really excited that we have an IPA. Um, we're going to have a problem, actually, when it comes to putting this on the stack, perhaps. If this is too out of the realm of kind of like the German standard beers we've been getting into... Uh, we might have to make some special rules or, or find a special, you know, co-chair of the number one spot in the stack. I don't know. You guys let me know how you feel about it. But, uh, but yeah, without any further delays, let's get into this bad boy. Okay, so super happy fun time. I get to use my special IPA glass today because, I mean, we're drinking an IPA. Let's, let's do it up proper. Note the ridges along this bad boy here they're not just on the outside they're also on the inside they say it's so that the as you drink it you know it sloshes along those ridges and it'll help uh, release some more of that hop aroma but uh i'm really really curious to get into this because i mean do the germans do ipas like we do i would highly doubt it but we're about to find out oh yeah there it is it's the good stuff now it would be a crying shame. Ooh, sorry. I stole a sniff. I'm not going to tell you about it, though. Uh, be a crying shame if I screwed up this pour. Now, already I can tell you this is the lightest IPA I have ever seen my whole life. And trust me, I've been drinking a lot of IPAs. Like I said, PW Native over here. The first craft beer I ever had was an IPA. It was a double IPA, actually, and I had no idea what it even was at the time so of course we have our massive head courtesy of yours truly and on the sniff test there's definitely a nice hoppy aroma right on top nowhere near ipas that i am familiar with but definitely the hoppiest thing that's come out of this advent calendar so far and you know it's not the lightest beer obviously we've had that's reserved for our bottom seat hella obviously but um it's definitely got a little bit of color to it and it's almost reminiscent of that pills from yesterday um so let's uh one last sniff for good measure let's go ahead and just dive right into this thing mm. interesting we need we need another sip to make sure we really know what's going on. Yeah, okay. So, IPA for sure. Compared to my local favorites, which in the upcoming series of shows, um, many IPAs will be featured quite regularly because I feel like that's the only kind of beer we make out here these days, which... Do have some drawbacks but comparatively very mild on the hops compared to standard ipas that i've ever had um certainly the most hoppy thing we've had so far in the 15 beers 14 14 beers preceding this it's definitely an ipa you could tell it's just kind of on the lighter end you know it's got a good full-bodied malt profile to it which is nice Mm. I would be really, really interested in finding out actually what kind of uh, malt they use for this thing. Because it certainly, it certainly tastes like they're made with German malts. Most IPAs in America are just, like most American beers are just made with the standard two-row barley. But, you know, this is really enjoyable. And I'm almost kind of disappointed we can't find a special situation for this thing because it tastes german it really does taste german it's just really hoppy for german beers so it's gonna have to get in there and it's gonna have to compete with some uh, pretty heavy hitters there on the top shelf 
Um, I can tell you right now, certainly top shelf material. But I don't know if she's got the old, uh, the the Royal Eagle, whatever that purple beer was that was multiple award winning. I don't think it's got that beat. Oh, it's going to be tough. We're going to have to think about this one. Let's have another sip just to, to make sure. Yeah. IPA for sure. Shout out to this brewery over in Germany. I mean, this is this is killer stuff. I wonder if I wonder if Germans would like this. I don't know. I wish I knew some more Germans. All right, guys. So we have looked, we've smelled, and we've tasted. Now the ultimate question: What in the world are we going to do with this beer when it comes to the stack? Let's go find out. So where are we sitting on the stack? We're sitting top five. That's where we're sitting. Now, obviously, I didn't want to be too kind to it, um, especially considering it, it. It does definitely taste like a German beer. So we stuck it up there, just bumping out the uh, the old black goat and everything else, moving down a tier. But looking like a healthy stack. All right, everybody. So that's that's where it's at. Top five. Strong. I, uh, I almost feel bad for the Schwarzenbach. But sometimes the black goat's got to sit on the bench and take one for the team i mean it's an ipa what am i gonna do mm. and of course before we get out of here thanks again for joining me on this the 15th day of my 24 day journey down the advent beer calendar courtesy of our friends over at we're gonna go with kalia because shout out to them because that is so awesome what they're doing i'm so glad that i did a little research into this one and really discovered like the origin of what we're doing here today and what we're going to do for the next uh you know almost two weeks so shout out to them shout out to costco for having an exclusive deal with these bad boys and uh shout out to the brewery for making this ipa so until tomorrow make sure that you're checking out the rest of the content here on the salt of the streets channel thank you again for joining me for liking for subscribing to get in the comments and let me know what you're thinking of these videos all of it it's all been great and i'm very excited for tomorrow i highly doubt there's gonna be another ipa in there so i'm gonna go enjoy this i hope you enjoy the rest of your night and if you're watching this tomorrow you know just get ready for another beer tomorrow tonight inception cheers welcome to the salt of the streets coming at you every week with this food for thought hope you're ready to eat everything